What's going on boys? It's Killer Cam Friend coming back at you with another Man 22 Ultimate Team video and today we got a really good one for you. Um, this is one of my early weekend league games. I was against a really good player though, definitely a top 100 guy. I did not play my best to be completely honest with you, but it still ended up being a crazy game. So I hope you guys like this and let's get into it. And we see this is going to be our top three, uh, Joe Mixon, Colin Johnson, and Devontae Adams. And this is going to be our opponents, Derek Carr, Randy Moss, and Colin Johnson. Now, I am still using Mixon um, for this portion of Weekend League, but we are going to switch off him here in the near future. And we're going to be rocking Ben DiNucci on that 25 Cowboys to, uh, to end off Weekend League. I did try out Cam Newton at one point, but I really did not like how he threw the ball. So I decided to switch back to DiNucci for the time being. I'll probably rock Russell Wilson or maybe Derrick Henry when he comes out. But you see there, I, I sent the green dog at him. He had the running back angle route wide open. But fortunately for us, we have under pressure on our user. That's why I run that on J. Ron Curse. Um, here, this is a huge fourth and 21. And he is going to throw a smart routed out route. I had a cloud there instead of a hard flat. A hard flat would have guarded that. So that was my bad. I just wanted to make sure I shaded over the top. Otherwise, I would have got absolutely torched. So, he's going to get a new set of downs. We could have had a stop early. That would have changed the ties of this game. I uh, would have had the ball in really good field position. Probably would have scored. Here, again, we're going to green dog him. Um, he keeps sending his running back out on routes. If you send your running back out on a route against me, uh, even if you block your tight end, I'm screaming at you. <laughs> I'm sending uh, pretty much seven every other play. Here, he's going to ag us. He's got deep in on uh, Calvin Johnson. Or Colin Johnson, one of the two. Um, but the very next play is going to throw us a pick right to Julio. Unfortunately, we can't get too sticky with him, and we are going to get the ball back on the 32 yard line. Uh, first play from scrimmage, we are going to run our famous motioned over buck sweep. Not going to pick up much yardage, but we saw he was in a uh, cover three shell the play before, and for whatever reason, he is going to go off sides there. So that is going to bring up a second and five, and we're going to take a huge sack. It's going to bring up a third and 15, where I'm going to run level sales and just look for the seam streak. He's going to let us throw it, and we're going to pick up about 25 yards, get all the way to midfield. Uh, this first drive here, I felt pretty good about my offense. Here we throw a nice little dot on the post corner route. But I've made a lot of mental errors in this game, as you guys will see going forward. Um, defensively, I'm not struggling too much. I, I am getting the stops that I need to get. Here, I just thought I could throw that over Isaiah Simmons, and that wasn't the case. I've thrown that ball a million times. Um, any shorter corner isn't going to pick that ball off. So, unluckily for me, I uh, threw an interception there, gave him the ball right back. Here, he's going to run flood and just dump down to the flat on the tight end. Um, I hate how man coverage doesn't guard that. The very next play, we're going to green dog and scream at him. That's going to bring up a big third and one where he is going to scramble and try to find a route bounce. He's going to throw it, and that should have been a pick. Um, if I have pick artist on him there, that's definitely an interception. Very next play, I try to green dog him. He puts his running back on the flat route and throws it right towards our user. I couldn't quite get there in time, so that's going to bring up a new set of downs for him. Um, I keep user rushing him, and he's just running straight backwards with his quarterback and not really getting much traction. He would think that would tire his quarterback out a lot more, but he is still throwing accurate passes left and right. So we see there on third down, he is going to take a delay of game. It's going to bring up a big third and 15, where I'm going to try to fake a little pressure. Um, I was doing that a lot throughout this game. I was trying to bring my guy down. Like I was going to green dog him, and then instead of sending the pressure, I would uh, play full coverage. So here, we're going to see that this post route is going to absolutely torch us, and our deep route KO does not activate because he has deep in on his receiver. Very next play from scrimmage, I miss the user rush, but under pressure on the user is going to save us from a big game. Here, he is just running flood over and over again, and this time he had flood with a post route instead of a fade from the outside. He's going to throw us a pick in the end zone. We're going to get the ball in the 20. 0-0 game with about two minutes left in the second quarter. We're going to have a chance to take a lead before halftime. Find Kyle Pitts on the corner route. Nice little dot. Um, you will see later on in this game that that play is going to absolutely sell me. 
uh, Kyle Pitts. I have him on a theme team. He's 98 speed, but I don't know what it is. Sometimes he just decides he doesn't want to catch the ball. But we're going to hit him with the cover three bomb, um, and we're going to go up 8 nothing Here, I don't know why this kept getting open. That is the stock fade route from Flood, and I'm shaded over the top in man coverage the 98 speed corner. And we can see again and again, he's just getting torch. He is agging me. Um, that should not be a completion, really, at all. But since he had double me on that last play, um, here I saw he wasn't running zone drops on that cloud. And if I'm running it from the wide side, I can throw it over that cloud almost every time. But he's got a lot of really big safeties out there, so I threw a pick. There, again, double me. He's going to ag me from a fade route on the outside. And this time he's going to get the two-point conversion, just audible into five wide and throwing a flat route to the tight end. So I need to make something happen before half, try to tie this game up. He did get the ball first. So even if we can't score before half, we're still going to have a chance to tie the game up towards the half. But here, I tried to roll out too far. Um, his stop clouds were baiting the hell out of me. They kept, I, they would play the flat and then jump right out to the corner out pretty much every time. And I threw picks on that, as you can see, multiple times this game. And it costed me big. Here, um, I just get absolutely torched on this crosser. But my user is there, so we are going to intercept the ball. But we know Madden 22, current gen, I can't kick a field goal, unfortunately, enough for me. So I'm going to have to settle with a 8-14 to 14 deficit before the half. On this play, um, I throw my gunning, running, route, running back on a ghost route. And um, I see now that that ghost route actually pulled down that cloud enough to where I would have been able to throw that corner out. Um, I'm going to have to throw that in my arsenal a little bit more, try to lab that, because uh, clouds definitely bait that corner uh, flat route combo from the running back. Here, as we see on this play, like I said, Kyle Pitts was going to sell me on that route in this game, and that is exactly what he did right there. He just didn't even try to attempt to catch the ball, and it went right into his DB's hands for, unfortunately for me, an interception, and there he's just going to find some crazy route bounce again. Time and time again, he was just finding crazy route bounces in this game, and it was uh, saving him from really, really big downs. On this play, I was trying to send a zero blitz at him, so I had to use the running back, and that left a crosser wide open. So he's going to score, he's going to go up 20 to 8, and that is going to be really, really big. But on the two-point conversion, we are going to use a rush him when he goes into that five wide again. So it's going to be a 12-point game. Uh, getting towards the end of the third quarter here, he's going to let us bomb him, though. And unfortunately, we cannot get the score on that play. But very next play, I'm going to run level sales and just try to make something happen with Mixon. We're going to swerve out his user and pick up a nice little block there at the end. That is going to bring this game to 14 to 20. So I'm down a touchdown. Um, a minute 20 left in the third quarter. We got to make something happen here. Try to get a stop. Here again, I'm trying to green dog him. This time I do get in. Fortunately for me, um, a lot of time he was sending his running back out. Here he's going to come out in five wide and then audible down to flood, I believe. <laughs> but we sent the house at him. So that's going to bring up a fourth and 17 where he is going to find the out route, but he's not going to be able to get his feet inbounds. So we do have a chance to score here and tie this game up. Leading into the fourth quarter, we're going to throw our little infamous buck sweep on the field, and Barry Sanders is going to eat a huge hit stick. So nothing gaining on that first play. Uh, very next play from scrimmage, he's going to run man coverage, and I saw that. I thought I had the post, but I did not. He's going to user intercept us and that's gonna be really really bad uh, I should not have got work there I had the corner out from the tight end looking back on that play next couple plays is gonna come out in goal line gain absolutely no yards and then here he is going to just off his back foot running backwards in the pocket find Darren Waller on the sideline which is just so incredibly frustrating um, I hate that Derek Carr of all people can run straight backwards and throw that kind of dime off his back foot 
in a huge situation in the game like that. So it's not looking great for us, guys. He's going to throw another touchdown a couple plays later, and that is going to make this 28 to 14. So we got to score really quick here. Um, it's not looking hopeful for me. On this play, um, I'm going to try to bomb him, and even without the flat for my running back, as we see there, the cover three beater still worked. I can't believe he didn't deep half at that point. It's just crazy to me that he didn't know that bomb was coming. So we are going to try to onside kick him after we get the two point conversion. And unfortunately for us, we did not get it. So pretty much one more first down, this game's over. And he's going to come out and goal line again. And instead of taking his almost touchdown, he's going to decide to go down uh, second and two, which is going to prove to be really, really big because that's going to bring up a big third and three after he gets stuffed, um, Vita Vey gets stuffed. And the very next play, he's going to throw us a pick. He thought he had the slant route open, but I had a, uh, a cloud there guarding that specific area. A 15-yard cloud guarded that perfectly. So we're going to have a chance to come back and tie this game up. That play, um, that was not open. That should have been picked. I got super, super lucky that it wasn't. But we are going to get a second chance and find Avante Adams on the sideline. 20 seconds left to go in the game. We're down six points. Uh, we got to make something happen. Joe Mixon is going to throw a dot to Vernon Davis on the sideline. We got 16 seconds. We got two timeouts. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Here we avoid the sack, throw the ball away. That's going to bring up a second and goal on the nine yard line with 13 seconds left to go in the game. We're going to find Vernon Davis on the streak. The little seam streak. Um, he had a, a hook curl there guarding that. I believe, and I noticed that the play before, so I decided to put Vernon on a streak instead of a corner out, and it proved to be a huge adjustment. We're going to go up 30-28 to 28 after the two-point conversion, and that is going to pretty much seal this game unless something crazy happens. Here on the kickoff, he's going to gain a few yards of Vita Vea. He's got seven seconds left in a prayer. Now he knows um, that I'm going to be able to block his kick if he decides to kick a field goal, so he's just going to throw up a Hail Mary. And it didn't work, but he has one second left. Can he make anything happen? Very next play, he is going to try to Hail Mary glitch me. Um, I know this glitch, so he just throws it up anyways. And we're going to get the interception. We're going to go down. And we were down 14 points with a minute 20 left in this game. And we came all the way back to win, which is going to bring us to 6-0, and I believe, in weekend league. Wow, that was a hell game. That was a hell of a comeback. Great game, guys. Whew, that was a sweat, boys. Um, that was just one of many super, super sweaty games that I had this weekend league. Um, as you guys can see, I was 6-0 and after this game, and almost all of the rest of my games were absolute hell games. I have them all recorded, and the best ones are going to be posted on the channel throughout the week. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. As always, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new, and make sure you have that naughty bell on for all Madden 22 incoming content from your boy. Now, like I was saying in previous videos, I'm doing the thing once a week. If you guys like the video, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment down below. I'm going to be picking one subscriber from one comment from a random video every week, and we are going to play... A game of Madden 22 Ultimate Team as long as you're on current gen PlayStation 4 and that video is going to be featured on the channel so if you want to have a chance to play me on the channel leave a comment down below let me know that you're interested but this is Killer Cam Friend I'm out I'll see you soon peace